Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper, and today we're gonna to talk about DSing vocals or dialogue, and also why you might wanna do it, and what DSing even means, I guess. And I'm also gonna show you three different ways to get it done. First of all, DSing is on the S and Z and SH syllables of dialogue or vocals. They're actually, it's the between like four and 10K range. It's really harsh, and it's a lot louder than the other syllables that come out of a person's mouth usually and it's just a good idea to kind of clean them up so what I'm gonna do is show you an extreme case of DSing and then in contrast to the regular vocal so what I have here is a piece of dialogue that has a lot of S's in it S's and SH's Sally sells seashells down by the seashore so as you can hear, there's a lot of S's going on. And at first you might like, well, well, that's not too harsh. But if I turn this multiband compressor on here, if I just take a new one, in fact, and we take the high frequency here, and I like to put it around 8K, because that's around where the S is really strong and prominent. Though some people might bring it down to around six. That's kind of in between the four and the 10, you know what I mean, somewhere around there. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it at eight, and I'm really gonna crank up the, the compression here and show you what's going on with the DSing. So here it is without. Sally sells seashells. And now here it is with some serious DS compression. Sally sells seashells. Sally sells seashells. Sally sells seashells. Sally sells seashells. So can you hear that kind of really nasty bit at the very top being lopped off? Obviously that's a really extreme case and you'd wanna come in and really hone in uh, the fre both the frequency for the vocal itself and how much compression you add. But that's just to show you how you might use the multiband dynamics and also to give you an extreme case of what DSing really is. The next option is to use the compressor and use Ableton Live's uh, preset called the DSer. Um, this one, Sally Sells C, concentrates on that between four and 10 kilohertz range using the EQ inside of the compressor. And then you can adjust the ratio and the threshold and the gain and stuff like that. But my preferred method for DSing is using a dynamic EQ. And I've just got this inside of isotope ozone six here and I've got another extreme case here for you just so you can hear again what's going on but what I have is the eight kilohertz range that will be compressed by the dynamic EQ when the range is too loud so if we go ahead and listen without Sally sells seashell and then with Sally sells seashells down Sally sells Sally sells Sally sells so again, what you're really listening for is that upper end of the frequency, the really kind of cringy part. It completely goes away. And again, I would never do it like this to my vocal or my dialogue, but I just wanted to show you uh, examples of it really working so you really understood what's happening and why you want to get rid of it. But uh, you want to leave a little bit of it there, and that is because that's natural, but sometimes bad microphones or bad recording environments. These things really make a difference on how the sound is put into the computer or into the DAW. And sometimes you really just need to, to crank off, lop off the top there. But so anyway, I hope you have a better idea of what DSing is. I know you've probably heard that term thrown around and also a better idea of how to get it done. My two methods are going to be the, uh, like I said, the dynamic EQ and the multiband dynamics, but uh, if you don't really want to get into it, the DS or compressor preset is a good start too.